Alrighty guys, we, Jen, the dogs, and myself, are at Blue Heron, um, what's it called, Blue Heron Cheese, Cheese Company, something like that. Uh, we're going to stay uh, tonight. It's a harvest host. We're going to stay here tonight. You can see the parking lot behind me. It's a big field. I think it probably fit 100 vehicles here. Um, and tomorrow, it's just down the street from Cannon Beach again. Tomorrow, we're going to my friend's wedding party Friday night. And then Saturday, they're getting married in Cannon Beach. So we, will, uh, we haven't figured out what we're going to do for dinner tonight. But we'll let you guys know. I don't know if we're going to make something or we're going to go over here to the Blue Heron to grab a little uh, grilled sandwich. When you do a stay at the Harvest Host, they want you to spend money there, you know, because they're putting, letting you stay here for technically free. Um, so we might just go and grab some dinner there. A couple of uh, grilled sandwiches of some sort, I think. All right, guys, so we're here again at the Blue Heron cheese place. Um, this one. I'm sitting on my in the van, as you can see, and this is our view out. Dogs are feed the dogs some dinner, dog food, and some uh, I think salmon, tuna, and uh, we're gonna we're definitely gonna go over to the the place there and grab a sandwich from them to eat, since again they uh, that's kind of the deal, and they give us a nice place to stay stay at night. It's safe, um, and they even have a porta over there which we don't need since we have our bathroom in the van we'll show you guys the sandwiches um they look pretty good last time we were here we had a good uh breakfast croissant ham egg and cheese i think we if you look back at that video you'll see it was they were delicious so i'm looking forward to the sandwich kind of hungry and uh, we didn't eat all the donuts we only had a couple bites of them um we can't eat all those donuts probably won't but we just had a few bites of them. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, we'll show you the food when we get some. All right, so the place is called Blue Heron French Cheese Company. I finally get it squared away. Sorry about screwing it up all the other times, but it is what it is. We'll show you guys the sandwiches in a few minutes. Jen ordered the beef stew for a half a sandwich and a beef stew, so we'll see how it looks. All righty, so here's my Reuben. What'd you get? I got an Italian sandwich and some hearty beef stew all right let us know give me the word Ooh, that is so soft mm. soft bread okay. <clears throat> and the soup is good mm -hmm. mm -hmm. all right let me see the reuben here can't really see me because the lighting here we go mm -hmm. Oops. It's good, but messy. Now, let us go and eat our food and we'll get back to you. We are trying to get used to working out while we go out on these little trips. So I've done some curls, some tricep, some presses, and I'm gonna do, and as I was saying, I'm gonna do some squats like this oh. I just have a couple of 15s we brought from home 15 and 15 is 30 obviously so you can get some 30 pound weights with it depending on what you do if it's too heavy do less reps better form if it's too light do more reps better form slow Slow will make it hard so if you just slow down. But as we get older, we want to keep trying to do stuff. Stay in shape, stay strong. That's the most important thing. Stay strong, build muscle, build bone. Weights help build bone mass. So as you get older like us, at 57, Jen and I, putting the stress of the weights will actually put bone mass back in. So let me get to my other two more sets of this and then I think I'll be done. Last thing I do is just a little bit of stretches for legs, back, shoulders. So I like to do some minor stretches for my running for softball. <laughs> oh. 
I have to get a couple of those stretches because I like to golf and play softball. So I need to, some rotational, some sprint, so I can not pull my groin and get some, I've been, I did some shoulder stuff back here and chest spread wide open. Again, so I can try to help uh, keep my golf swing wide. Anyways, had some workout stuff. Jen's gonna do a little workout All too. Right, so I've said it before, I'll say it again. Having that shower is the best. Jen's in there showering right now. She wet herself. Uh, the water heater works so great. We, uh, you know, got this little bit of water tank going and in the shower, you don't even have to barely turn the water on. It just, the way it sprays it out, it just gets you really wet. Um, I feel, I feel amazing after getting a good shower. Um, this other thing, here we are watching little Thursday night football. I mean, we're this glamping. we're glamping. The van is just just amazing. It's just such a great tool. I still need to cover back here, and I'm gonna probably work on that in the next week or two. And then the window areas down here on both sides, and then the drawers. Finish those drawers down below where I put the microwave, right down there. You can see the microwave, and then below it will be some drawers. Maybe one or two, um, and then I think I'll be done. So, all in all, like I said, the shower is the best. The Terravan shower. If you want to be able to take a shower, even occasionally, you want to get that shower because it takes up no space, no floor space when it's not in use. And when it is in use, you just pop it up, attach the ceiling. Take your shower, let it dry for a few minutes, and then you're golden. So we're gonna kick back. We might, again, see if we can. All right, as I was saying before, my battery so rudely interrupted me. You can hear Jen's over there showering. It's just, the van is just working out so great. And uh, we're looking forward to having some fun tomorrow, checking out more of Cannon Beach. All right, you guys, good morning. We're heading out of uh, the Blue Heron. Yesterday, it was a spectacular day. Today, we woke up to this. Uh, pretty good rain um, So we're gonna drive up toward Cannon Beach. It's supposed to stop by around noonish and get cloudy sunny partly cloudy sunny and then tomorrow for my friend's wedding It's supposed to be uh, pretty much all sunny, which is great news for him uh, But we slept great. I turned the heater on last night just a little bit set it to like 65 because it got to around 50 something in here Granted, it's still comfortable under the blankets. We didn't need it for be under the blankets, but it just took a little chill out of the air, which is nice. Um, so I don't know. It ran a couple times last night, just just once or twice, I think. M might have been a little bit more, but I didn't notice it. Um, just again, just to take the the, the kind of chill out. So we're gonna head up north toward Cannon Beach, and we're either gonna find a place to park and make some breakfast, or go to a place to eat breakfast. We're not sure which. Um, because uh, I don't know, we're just gonna see how it goes, see how we feel, see what we see. We'll right, uh, let you in the Cannon way. Beach area. We parked. We're gonna do a little walking around. We have our uh, little extra jacketing on since it's kind of breezy, cool, and at least the rain has stopped, but it's not dry. Um, and uh, we'll show you guys around if there's some interesting stuff. So here's the front part of our campground, the entrance. It's the Cannon Beach RV Resort. Thought that was me for a second. They have a pool, a spa. It's open from eight to eight. Showers. Uh, we're just doing a little walk to the where our wedding party tonight is at. And it's a little raining, it's very light. But the dogs need to get out. So we decided to do a quick walk like we're gonna do later, just to scope it out. I think we're gonna walk later.
Haystack Rock. Oh, there's the Pacific Ocean. Get the stick, come on, Jeff. Faster! You're not running, you're walking. Yay! Alright, good morning guys. You can see it's a beautiful day today. Great day for a wedding on the beach. Um, not ours. Friends. Not our wedding. <laughs> yes, we've been married for ever 30 30 years 30 years i was like i had to double check that <laughs> um then we left the dogs there in the van there on the road on the parking area we're gonna go grab some breakfast at lazy susan cafe waffle house um we'll see what that's like and then i think we don't know what we're doing today the wedding's at 4 30 so we have to be back over there by at least 4 30 but we may just go there early and hang out at the beach some before that um, let the dogs play and whatever and then uh, the rest of the time we'll see you because it's like what nine o'clock ten o'clock yeah it's still, still like kind of early so we have several probably six hours or so before we have to be at the wedding area so we'll figure out what we're gonna do in the meantime we'll show you what we do during the day and uh, in beautiful Cannon Beach Jen's ready to move here by the way oh yeah I we love it here yeah. so pretty I mean I love Washington but this would be my second choice for sure we're not coming here. <laughs> Alrighty guys, if you go to Lazy Susan Cafe, it's cash only, so make sure you have some. There's an ATM right across the street. So, just heads up. Pretty little cafe. We'll see the food. I'm gonna get a Dungeness crab. Eggs Benedict. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, it's soft. Poach, perfect. And the crab. Mm. Alrighty guys, time for the review. So I had the eggs benedict, the traditional eggs benedict, and it was, it, they were delicious. Uh, potatoes filled with all the herbs, uh, really, really good. And the iced tea, delicious. I mean, I don't, they have their own natural blends, so it was really, really good. I had to bring home a cup. The, uh, yes, the eggs benedict. I had the Dungeness crab. Hope you saw the vid of it. Um, it was so delicious. The hollandaise sauce was spectacular. Probably could have used a tiny bit more lemon juice in there, but it was good. Creamy, just fantastic. The, the Dungeness crab was so good. The Dungeness Crab was market price, so today it was 25 bucks, um, which isn't exactly cheap, but it was so delicious. It was well worth it. I mean, I was sad that it ended. <laughs> and the place is called the Lazy Susan. Yeah. In Cannon Beach, so just for your info. Yeah, like I said, we put a little bit of salt on the potatoes. It's all seasoned up, but needed a little bit of salt to to trip the up, yeah. trip the flavors up mm -hmm. a little it bit. Has it. Yeah. So. Um, but it was it was fantastic if you're ever in Cannon Beach You want breakfast? They have other stuff too. It's a waffles and oh, that kind of stuff, but we went have only two guys Yeah, cash only. only so we went for the uh, eggs benedict man. It was good. What a great decision all 
five stars, ten stars, whatever you want to call it, top of the ratings. So we will uh, catch you where we see if we're going. All right, we stopped at Ecola State Park, just outside of no Cannon Beach, north of Cannon Beach. Um, bought a five dollar day pass, and we'll show you some views here. This is the overlook area, right here. The tall one down there is Haystack Rock. Look at that beautiful ocean. Wow. Manzanita? Manzanita, and it's on the way between Rockaway Beach and Cannon Beach. Um, looks like it's a cute little town right on the water. We will uh, show you the water. I think I'm looking for uh, ice cream. <laughs> But no nuts, because I have uh, some procedure coming up that I can't have nuts. Dang. <laughs> so apparently they're doing a moving a bookstore. I don't know if you can see all the people over there. But they are getting everyone lined up so they can hand a book off one to each other up the street. Because they're moving the bookstore from one building to another up the street here. So it looks kind of interesting. So I guess that's a pretty convenient way to move all your books one at a time, but yet with all the people, like an old bucket brigade or something. We're gonna walk down here toward the beach. You see, I got a scoop of ice cream, chocolate chip cookie dough. I got Jen a big, huge peppermint patty. She likes almond bark, but they didn't have any, so I know she likes peppermint patty, so I got her one. We'll see what the beach looks like here. Okay, go run over there. Go on. Go play. Go play. Go on. Go play. She is in her favorite place in the water. Well, I think she might like snow more than the water, but it's a toss up between which one she likes most, the snow or the water. That was the beach. Hope you liked it. That's the Manzanita beach or as we might want to say manzanita um gia got to play some so that's always good where pulls some energy down out of her and they uh, had a good time so we will see where we go next yeah. all guys so we're closing out our vid down here the wedding my friend was successfully married they had a beautiful wedding you saw a little uh, tiny itty bitty shot of them getting married it was obviously their wedding didn't get authorization to film so I just wanted a little tiny quick clip so that she could see what it looked like where he was at it was beautiful they had a nice bonfire in the evening and we were there no filming for that so um, it's about 7 30 we're hoping to get out of here in the next few minutes Jen's putting on her contacts and putting the last little bits away and then we'll get out of here we have about a five hour worth of drive time back home but we'll probably have to stop and get gas for sure and then um who knows probably hit the head once or twice and stop and let the dogs for a walk so it'll probably take us closer to six hours to get home um 
and that'll be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short vid from uh, Cannon Beach area. Um, it's beautiful down here if you ever get a chance to come up this way. It's a tourist trap for a reason. I say tourist trap in a positive way. Um, there's a lot to see. It's, it's just beauty around every corner. Um, but there's lots of people that come here also because it's, it's on the beach. It's so beautiful. Um, sandy beaches. You can do bonfires at night on the beach. There were, I don't even know. We looked down the beach, you could see 10, 15 bonfires out there. So uh, this is, again, it's October, first week in October in 2024. Uh, we had one really bad day of weather and the other days were really nice. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if you'd want to come in October because it's so up in the air on what kind of weather you get. Um, but definitely if you get a chance to be in Oregon, come up to the beach, check out Cannon Beach. You will appreciate your time here. And hopefully you'll get to see a herd of elk even though we didn't. So anyways, catch you guys next time and you have a great one.